Hi, this is Jennifer Sherry from Purple Flowers of Epilepsy, and I am at the Brigham and Women's Hospital here in Boston, Massachusetts. I have been here since Monday morning at 10.30 a.m. and at about um, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m., maybe later, I had um, an SEEG surgery, which um, they shaved my head and they um, they put depth electrodes in my head and they um, put rods into my head. Um, as well as small um, electrodes inside my brain so that they can get research information as well as n neurological information on my um, epilepsy and seizures um, because I have bilateral epilepsy and um, I um, am not able to have um, surgery. I have focal seizures right now. Um, this morning I had a tonic-clonic seizure. I am almost off all my seizure medications. Um, tomorrow they said no more seizure medications. Um, so this thing on my head has um, my head is wired inside and um, my head is in so much pain um, from the electrodes inside my brain and um, people are asking what any SEEG is it's called a stereographic electrographic um, The, um, EEG, but what they're doing is they're putting the depth electro gra uh, ele electrodes inside deep inside my brain so they can get the perfect information. So that because I have bilateral seizures, that maybe they can find out exactly which side they are on and exactly where they come from because if they come from either the right or the left all the time they will know exactly where they can do the surgery if they can do surgery and um, this would be great for me because so far I have um, had no luck with surgery because of my bilateral seizures and um, so I wanted to explain this to you it's not just a regular EEG because usually EEGs are just there's like a cushion here because my brain is like having a cushion on it so nothing happens to it because um, all these electrodes are just on my under my head and I don't want anything to happen to it I've been trying so hard to stay comfortable and they have me on opioids right now I'm trying to lower my opioid to um, in the afternoon I take Tylenol but they have me on pain meds every three hours. So during the day, I take um, Tylenol. Um, so that's, I think, three doses of Tylenol. And I think at seven o'clock, I took an opioid. And I start in the morning at um, seven o'clock with an opioid. And then the rest of the day, I take Tylenol and overnight 
I take no opioid. I'm trying not to take a lot of opioids if I can. Um, I would rather take Tylenol um, because it's too strong of a medication and then I don't want to get hooked on it or anything like that. Um, because then they'll, you know, let me go home with it and I'm, I just don't want to get messed up on it. So, um, anyways, so I just want to explain to you all what my SEEG is. I was trying to get, um, the information, maybe Phyllis Finner Johnson can, um, post what an SEEG is for us. I will ask her to do that for you, but I'm explaining to you what they did to me. Today is Thursday. I've been here for four days, and I had my first seizure this morning, and I'm not looking to get out of here till at least sometime next week, um, not Monday, so probably 10 days or more, and I'm a little upset because I know Tuesday is Purple Day and I've got all this stuff going on on Purple Day that I want to get pictures taken of so um, I want to make sure that my friends get pictures for me so I can post them to you um, on the 27th because I know that I did it and I want you all to see what I did for Purple Day. Um, I know the Zakem Bridge will be purple. And I know in Lynn, my town, um, I did High Rock Tower. And I did um, Under the Beyond the Wall Bridge purple. So I hope that um, you can... Um, wait till the 27th for me to get pictures from my family um because i really i want to see those pictures because it took me a long time to get that done this month and um i tried the prudential tower in boston but it was undoable but anyways so that's what an seeg is guys